Hi, my name is Marcos Gask, and this is the film review of The Oath. Uh, first thing I wanted to talk about is Lore's do-it-yourself cinematography. Um, I thought she had a lot of great shots, a lot of great B-roll, especially with the car mounted, um, or the camera mounted on top of the car, on top of the taxi strolling through the city at night. It was really eerie and dramatic, and I thought that was really, really awesome. Also, um, uh, I thought some of her B-roll not only helped the story, it told the story, like, when she had um, the camera inside of uh, Abu Jandal in his taxi, that was a, it was a big part of the story um, to help develop the character of Abu Jandal. Um, also, I really enjoyed how Laura told the story in a very um, untraditional, uh, unorthodox um, way. She, uh, she had two main characters. One was very prominent, you saw him a lot, Abu Jandal, and the other one you hardly ever saw, but he still helped um, push the story. And it was great seeing his character build. Um, throughout uh, his his voiceover moments in the documentary. Mm, uh, during the Q&A with Laura, I learned how Laura gained access to fil film um, Abu J Jandal, and she said it was um, the only reason uh, he let her film her is because she had credibility, because she already filmed a documentary in Afghanistan, My Country, My Country. So through credibility, she was able to access a very main character for the documentary that she wanted to make and I think that's good tips for me because I want to be a future filmmaker so it's important to know how to to film high-class people not high-class but um people that are well known and to get in with them and you can't just say oh I just want, I want to film you is that okay so I know how to do it now it's good it's good I'm glad I know this now uh, overall the Oath was very informative. It was very consciousness raising, which is exactly what Laura was aiming for, to raise consciousness in the public. And I think she definitely succeeded doing that. I had, prior to this, little to no knowledge of the um, Guantanamo Bay events that she covered. And I'm thankful that she did cover that and that this film was shown because its message was sent and its job was complete. So um, both overall, it's good. It was a great learning experience. I'm glad, I'm glad I saw it.